Welcome to the Sonoma County Library's book repair video series. In this uh, video today, we will be doing complex gluing, and that involves cracked hinges and other nonsense. As always, uh, we've shown you what you need for gluing, and that pretty much is all the same supplies. So I'm not going to spend time going over it. Um, you will need for this to make sure that you do have mending sheets um, because you're going to be using this a lot of this for um, making sure you don't get glue on pages. A little bit different than the simple gluing and the gutter gluing which generally you don't need any uh, waxed paper. I did want to mention before we get started that we do have a lot of supplies here on hand um, that might not be listed on the supply list. Um, and that's things like um, shop towels that are already pre-cut. We've got um, waste paper. And you could also cut your own waste paper. Um, I use the discarded, uh, mostly kids' books. Cute. Um, and uh, just cut it into sheets and then we use it for gluing and then we can just easily uh, toss it and recycle it. Um, the other thing is we now have a, a supply of water pens. So please, if you need a water pen at your branch, that's what we use for dog ears and for working with Japanese repair tissue. Please request one. The other thing I wanted to let people know is what would be helpful at your branch is to have a, um, a box where you keep all of your mending tools and equipment um, because we, I've had a few uh, people contact me where they don't know where it's kept at their branch or who has it. So it'd be nice if you could label like uh, Roner Park Mending and then keep all your tools, your bone folder, your all your supplies in, in a box. And it just, uh, we can also, we have a lot of those boxes, so please let us know if you need one. Okay, let's get started. So one of the things that um, is different about complex gluing is that a lot of times uh, you still ha are going to have that same separation that you have at the simple gluing, but you're going to see that there's more complex, that this is coming apart. It's not just where you can glue it and simply flip this over and in. You're going to have to actually do things in stretches. You might need to add uh, paper. You might need to do... so. Um, unfortunately, there's no easy way to teach complex gluing. It's more of a show and tell. So I'm going to have on the script that you get, there's going to be um, uh, watch this video, of course, first, and then um, we're going to have best practices and a whole list of tips. So on this, we're going to first assess we always want to assess and I usually take my mending slip and I write down the things that need to be done so on this one as you can see it's separated here from the actual text block so the first thing we're going to want to do is glue that so the glue text block so I'm going to write down my repairs, and it's both ends, so the front, uh, both sides, okay. And then I'm also going to need to glue down this right here, so that would be the next thing I'd want to do is glue that down before I flip it, so we're going to glue that's the end paper, as you know. And then we're going to look at the back here and see. So what we've got is we've got two different separations on the back. We have one where we could actually continue 
and turn it into um, a simple separation. We also have a separation here as well. So um, I think the first thing um, on this one that I would do is, again, this one is got gonna need some glue down here to hold the sides together. So that's the first part on this one that I would repair. And then after that's repaired, I would assess whether or not we would need to turn this into where, and this is where again, you wanna just kinda run your, and turn it into, see how far down it goes. So on that one, I would repair this one separately since it's not coming undone easily. So um, what I would do on this book is I would repair this first. So what we're gonna wanna do is just get a little bit of glue down in there and we're gonna let that dry. And then on this one, we're gonna get some glue along the sides here. Make sure that's nice and tight. So let's do that first. Okay, so what's important when you're doing this is that you have a variety of different brushes. Um, so for this in here, we're gonna want a nice flat brush. So I'm gonna pick out a flat brush. So that's a nice flat brush. I'm gonna put some glue in my container. I'm gonna put a healthy amount because we are gonna be doing a lot of gluing. So the first thing I wanna do is get some glue down on that edge. And I don't wanna to go too, too far into the book. I just wanna make sure I get it along this edge here. And I'd already noticed that this edge is also coming apart. So I wanna get some along that edge as well. And the most important thing is not to get it on this side, cause we're gonna end up using that side for next round of gluing. So I just get make sure I got some good on that edge. And a little more on this edge. Okay. And just to be safe, I'm gonna put a paper here and I'm gonna make sure you use a little bit of a bone folder to, and I can work on this side since I've got that secure. So on this side, what I wanna do is I wanna get some glue in that one spot and there it is. So let me just show you what it looks like. So see how that is just starting to crack and separate. We're just gonna get a little bit of glue in there so that when we do our major repair on that, this will fold in nicely. So I'm gonna, on this one, I don't wanna use my flat brush. I wanna use a nice super thin brush so I've got one right here that is, you always wanna make sure you clean your brushes with, uh, I usually just use a cold water cause a lot of times we don't have hot water. Um, so I just use a little bit of cold water after I'm done with them, maybe a little soap. So on this one, I'm just gonna get a little glue just in that. crack there. Kind of don't want to fill my brush too full. Make sure I spread it out. And again, you're trying to avoid, and then I put it on the paper here, as you can see. Hopefully you can see that as well as I can. And I get a little on the paper here. I'm gonna do a quick brush across, make sure that's a little more here. Okay, so on this one, I'm gonna flip it. 
And then I'm going to isolate the other part of this because I just want this part to be because we'll be doing this other cracked hinge. So I'm going to take, usually like to use my fingers a lot, but I take the bone folder and make sure I get that nice and smashed down. And always gently, but just make sure. I see a little bit of glue right there. I don't know if you can see that little bit of glue there. So I'm going to want to take that up. So I don't want that to touch the other pages. So I'm gonna just take that little bit of glue off and then I'm gonna close the book up and then we're gonna let that dry. And then after it's dried, we're gonna do our next repairs on this book. So I'm gonna put this book aside. Okay, so the next type of complex gluing we're gonna look at is where um, pages, have come out but it's also where not just where you would want to tip in the page or the signature it's where you also need to repair where the pages came out so in assessing this book so it's already been hinged at one point on a uh, half hinge here so in the meantime though this little section has come out at the beginning so we're gonna need to repair this, but we're also gonna need to put these back in. And this is called, um, I tend to call it uh, uh, layering the text block or s gluing in sections. I'm sure there's probably a, a, you know, a scientific name for it. And then we're gonna assess the back. It looks like there's some separation here. Uh, let's see, what else do we have? Uh, oh, yep, yeah, there's some more little places where we can put glue in here, keeping that together. Since we know that it's already some sections have come apart, we're going to just look and we're going to go through and just put a little bit of glue in all those spots. But I know there's one section. Yes, here it is. So see how that section is starting to also break apart here? Um, that you can feel it. It's the glue has just, the glue is just given away because it's just, uh, you can, it's grainy, it's old, it's tired, it's dry. So we're going to refresh this spot. So we've got on our slip, we would want to make our little list of all the things we do. In this case, I would like to repair this first, since in my opinion, it is the most um, egregious area of damage. So if we can get that fixed, then it'll be really easy to go through and fix all the rest. So we're going to fix this first. And again, we're going to pick just the right brush. And in this case, we don't need a small brush. We don't need a flat brush. We want a brush that we can get in there with enough glue. So on this one, I'm going to make sure I always wet my brushes because the uh, PVC glue works really well with a little bit of water. So on this one, I want to make sure I get it over the areas that were already had glue on them. That's very important because those are the areas that you really want to re-glue. Uh, try to get it off of that area. So get my sure I get enough glue in there and now at this point this brush I have one little area where I'm going to need to use my finer pointed brush make sure I get it down in there a lot of times when you're using brushes 
uh, to steady your hand, oftentimes holding on to the book is a good technique. Just want to make sure I get some good glue down there. It's a little too much. When you're working with glue, you always want to assess how much you have on your brush. And then in this case, I'm just going to put a touch in here. And in this, what I do is I take and I roll the brush into that space, making sure to get some glue in there. Gently roll it along the edge there. One last little And then I do my cleanup, make sure I take it off the edges of the page. And we're going to fold this in. And this is where it's so important to line up the uh, four edges of the text block, making sure that's in there. I'm going to put, um, well, before I line it up, let me go and I'm going to put a waxed mending sheet in there just to be safe. Okay, once I got it good and lined up, I'm going to close the book up. Not going to worry about the other pages because we know we're going to fix those. And I'm just going to give it a good, good uh, pressure there. I'm going to put one rubber band around it, and then I'm going to put a weight on it. Okay, and then we'll be coming back to these to show you how to fix the other things. So the next uh, book that we're going to look at is uh, a lot of times you will see this type of damage where, and if I find, oh, yeah, right there. So what you have here is the same issue as the previous book, where your glue is just so dried and so far gone. But what you have is a page that is still attached here. So we want to untach this page. And so what we're going to do is I usually sometimes see if it'll just if not, I'll take my flat edge spatula and just kind of give it a little push as I pull it. So we're going to just push it away here and it comes. So we're going to glue this and this, but look at this. Is that just not awful old glue? Okay. So again, what we're going to do is we're going to want to glue making sure we get our glue along the old glued edge. And, but first, what we want to do is, I'm gonna swivel the book around so that you can see, and I'm gonna move this a little closer. Okay. So with this page here, it's nicely attached down there, but we wanna make sure it is attached and it's also nicely attached. So what we're going to do is we're going to run glue along this edge here and we're just going to reattach it to the rest of the text block. So again, in this case, I want a waxed sheet here because um, I want to make sure I get the glue along the edge there. So I want to make sure it's nice and straight. Okay. And then this, with this one, um, it's a matter of which uh, type of brush you want to use. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and use that same one I was using. And this is a little different to do. But I'm just going to get some glue right up in there. I'm going to 
take my edge, make sure I have it lined up, but take my bone folder. And I'm not gonna worry about this little tear because we're gonna fix that after the fact. But I just wanna make sure I get this page lined up and glued down. Again, I'm gonna put a mending sheet here. I'm gonna close it up and I'm gonna let that dry first before we fix the other part. Okay, so we will come back and look at all these different things and we'll do a little more gluing.